In your work or partnership with the ADRC, you're likely to encounter families or individuals who call with questions about dementia. Knowing some basic information can help you to be of greater assistance and to best know what services or supports may be best suited to their needs. There are three important takeaways from all of this information. First of all, dementia is not a disease. It is a set of symptoms, also called a syndrome. Number two, the set of symptoms we refer to as dementia can be caused by a variety of things. Just because a person is experiencing memory loss or changes in the way they think and act does not automatically mean the person has Alzheimer's. That's why it's so important for people with concerns about their memory and thinking to see a medical professional who can assess the person and determine the cause and possible treatment of the problem. And finally, dementia can present itself in very different ways depending on the person and the cause. Now that you have some background about dementia and its causes, let's talk about your role as an ADRC staff member or partner in terms of identifying dementia or possible dementia and providing resources when you, spec when you suspect dementia is involved. In particular, we'll discuss four important questions. First, why is it important to ask individuals or families about dementia or possible dementia? Second, what are some of the reasons you might suspect dementia could be an issue? Third, what questions can you ask to help determine whether dementia may be an issue? And finally, what should you do if a dementia diagnosis is involved or if you suspect that dementia may be an issue? Let's look at each of these questions individually. First of all, why is it important to ask individuals or families about dementia or possible dementia? If a person is experiencing signs of potential memory loss or dementia, there are several good reasons to follow up with some questions to help determine if dementia is a factor. You can encourage the person and family to seek the assistance of a medical provider to determine why the memory problems are occurring. Evaluation by a physician or other healthcare professional can help pinpoint the cause of the memory loss so it can be treated appropriately. If the assessed condition can be effectively treated, such as one of the reversible conditions we just discussed, the medical provider can offer the proper treatment and alleviate the problem. For example, if the confusion and memory issues are the result of medications, a vitamin deficiency, or a problem with the thyroid. If the assessment indicates Alzheimer's or another form of dementia, early detection provides an opportunity for appropriate treatment of the condition and for planning. Early detection of cognitive impairment allows the individual and their family more of an opportunity to plan and obtain support from organizations such as the Alzheimer's Association or the Alzheimer's Network of Oregon. It can also allow time for the person who's diagnosed to do financial and legal planning and to have a voice in their ongoing care. People can also choose to engage more in enjoyable things such as travel that they otherwise would have put off. Knowing if a person or family is dealing with dementia or potential dementia allows ADRC staff to help make referrals to appropriate services, such as options counseling or respite care, now and in the future contacts with these consumers. Here's a video of different people talking about getting a diagnosis and the relief that they feel as a result. <laughs> 